The, the best thing about Fluent Brooklyn compared to other language schools is simply that there is a young staff of exciting teachers here that are all very passionate about linguistics. I studied at Florida State University, got my undergrad in Spanish there and my master's in Spanish linguistics, and then spent two years abroad in Madrid teaching at a bilingual school. My name is Cornelius, um, and I come from California and I live in Brooklyn. Cornelius is the least professorish of all professors. I stopped by Sam's office. I sat down and I said, you've got Spanish and French, you know what you're missing? Meatballs. I'd love to start some Italian. A lot of times it's hard for people to capture every vowel inside a sound, like with the word arrivederci. It's really just a word that's a, E, A, A, L, E. And um, fitting all the consonants in there proves to be tough. He's really just awesome to have around and he's super cool. My favorite part about teaching French is the fact that pronunciation is so hard in French and because I've taught so many students and, and had so many hours in the classroom, I've figured out ways for people to really deal with pronunciation in a, in a very specific way. And to me, pronunciation in French isn't that hard anymore. And so I really like being able to sort of explain to students how I figured it out and then they are able to pronounce words a lot better directly from the page. I really enjoy teaching the German one because I really get to start from scratch and uh, it, it, it's just very exciting to see the progress. About two weeks ago when uh, we played a round of Jeopardy and it was a nice way for me to review all the things that we had learned in the last five weeks and I just really, I got to see that they had made great progress but also that they were very engaged and had just a tremendous amount of fun. A typical student from Brooklyn is like me, is my age, lives around the neighborhood. Half, half our transplants to New York, but all of them seem to have the same thing going on and looking to either pick back up a language, which they had started doing a long time ago, or take it for the first time. Hi, I'm Vasti. Um, bonjour, je m'appelle Vasti. Um, I took level one and two. I'm Jessa, and I've been taking French with Sam um, since almost the beginning. My name is Lena Perez. Um, I was initially originally born in Colombia. My name is Allison Hodston, um, from Maine originally. I moved here about a year ago. I really like the class setting because then you hear other people's questions and and it answers a lot of your own, so I'm excited to get back into class. Uh, Fluent Brooklyn was definitely more casual and more, you know, realistic and how you really want to learn a language. Well, even when I miss a class because I'm too tired or something, I'm a little bummed out and feel like I might probably miss something fun or miss something really important that will be, like, haunting me and my grammar for the rest of my life. So if I ask you, I don't understand, why don't you want to come to class? You're like, eh, ¿por qué no me sale los huevos? which is just like, I don't freaking feel like it. A lot of my Brooklyn students are looking to either travel or expand their language base. The hardest thing about teaching level one is probably actually making them realize how much effort and dedication is gonna be needed to really grasp the first parts of a language. I really liked the French four classes because it really gave you a lot of flexibility. Um, it wasn't a structured, you know, one time a week, uh, one day a week type thing. It was a drop-in class. You guys in the class. Um, yeah, actually I told my my girlfriends about it and um, I dragged them over to the, the floor in Brooklyn opening party. We just make a bunch of jokes about steel magnolias and uh, like drinking too much red wine. I'm fluent in French in the next two weeks. <laughs>